black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up world? Back with another one for you today. Turkey club sandwiches, one of my favorites. I put a little more of a summery twist on it with the heirloom tomatoes and the red leaf lettuce. Usually we're going with the iceberg and some, you know, standard maybe hot house or whatever like that. Uh, you know, didn't cook the turkey myself, but it is fresh, hot, beautiful, nice, good deli turkey. Uh, I hate turkey clubs with really subpar lunch meats. So this is like the closest I could get without, you know, going full Thanksgiving on it myself. So like the home country style uh, white bread, I'm super excited. I've got some uh, pickles on the side here. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this because this is my meal for, for the day, one meal a day. That's a new vibe, that's a new jam. And just before I do, get into these because i know i'm gonna have to kind of cut them up and what have you but let's just take a moment to really appreciate what this is right now you know just that nice beautiful layered construction one with a yellow tomato one with a red Very intrigued to see if there's any sort of flavor differential on the two. One goes to the corner and one comes here. Now the question is, do I cut it into quarters or a half or what? Let's just go for the half. Let's go diagonal. Uh oh, no, no, no. Don't do it to me. Okay. We've escaped tragedy, but that was much more difficult than I expected. The bread had quite a lot of resistance, but we have made it. And I'd say we're looking good. Quite beautiful. No, don't do that, bacon boy. Lately in these videos, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on, but I've been executing on a whole different level, I swear to God, in terms of flavor, like everything's just coming out exactly how I imagined it in my head. Like get your mind around that, you know what I mean? Just the bread. So usually, You might use like a wonder bread. I still got like a white bread though, but see that nice crust, like that nice cook, that nice bake on it. That's cause it's a, uh, like a bakery loaf, but they're cooked like fresh that day and they don't have all the, like the preservatives. So they go bad quickly. So it's just like you, you buy it and you use it. So that's just like a step above right now, right? On top of that, that fresh leaf lettuce, you know, a little different, a little more nutrient dense, perhaps. I don't know, just a bit of a different flavor. And uh, the heirloom tomato, just juicier. You guys know I'm gonna hit it with ranch. Bacon perfectly cooked. And this turkey, this deli turkey, I'm telling you.
ranch takes it up a little bit of a notch as well in my world let's try it with the one of these pickles Perfect. What more can you ask for? I'm living my dream. <laughs> Had a few different craves today, but this one ended up reigning supreme in the final decision. But I almost did pizza, which I haven't had. I haven't had pizza in like two and a half months. Reason why I am, you know, putting half, you know, I'm not eating that other half is just I want to see if the yellow tomato makes any difference sorry for my ruckus neighborhood but that's just it i'm back in the hood now and i live by a hospital as well a lot of crime a lot of dumb drama around here But yeah, I saw this place doing these crazy pizzas. There's, it's like kind of like a deep dish, but not quite kind of like a puffy uh, pizza hut crust, but it just opened here on College Street. And I left the house with the intention to go do it to like finally break my pizza fast. Because I, like I said, if any of you guys have been watching my channel, I had to take a bunch of time off to like rehabilitate my body because I got that virus and in that time I was literally juicing fasting and eating fruits and vegetables no bread no sugar no this no that no dairy anything so since then I still have not eaten pizza and it's been like two and a half months This yellow tomato is making a difference. Just in the sense that it is a little juicier. Don't slide. So I will do that video. I will eventually go try that pizza place. A vlog get eaten up, eat out in the sun. I got a bunch of spots like that that I'd like to get to this summer and vlog it for the channel. be smart about making the thumbnails in the title and show just the food in the thumbnail and call it a mukbang instead of a vlog because nobody watches anything named a vlog I've learned vlogs get no play Even though it's the same thing, it's like still me out eating somewhere, but unless it looks like you're 
at home mukbang and people don't want to watch. That's the point we're at, where people just want to see very specific things, very specific food. They basically just don't want you to have a personality. They want you to shut up, which is stupid. It's called YouTube and I'm a person. I'm clearly going to be me. So if you don't like talking, just leave, unsubscribe. <laughs> don't need you. Don't want you. Another thing too, to anybody out there who comments to tell people like to start a new channel, oh, just go start a new channel uh, doing these other things that you like, like so say for me, music, could be gaming, could be vlogging. It's like, people are just like, oh, just go start a new channel. It's like, do you know how much work it is to even get your channel to, to produce any kind of money? Why would you take all that, everything that you've established, the audience that you have, and then instead of doing one channel, try to manage two or three channels and two of them don't make any money or anything. They're just small, like you're unknown. You're not going to get views for like a year. Just grind. Like it just makes no sense. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so frustrating when people say shit like that. It's like, I think people live in this la la world where they think YouTubers, like any YouTuber is just making a bunch of money or doesn't have to pay bills or like something like that. I feel like people just think people on YouTube are like magical creatures that don't have to earn a living. It's fucked. <laughs> like life ain't free it's expensive as shit and youtube doesn't pay the bills i can't just decide to go do youtube -y things all day every day otherwise i'd be homeless <laughs> and i'd never be able to upload anything so it's like are you guys like, are these people dumb? It's like, oh, just go do that. Like, f just go waste your day vlogging and get no views and get no money. It's like, what? <laughs> like, it sucks. Even just a video like this me actually doing cooking making something actually like homemade and nice it won't get like nearly the views like burger king or popeyes or something like that more corporate shit always gets more views even though this takes like more talent, more skill, more effort, more whatever you want to call it, just more. I know people gravitate towards like the easy. Talentless, skillless. People and channels. People who are more boring. It's weird. I don't get it. And the minute you want to actually do something on your channel that's a little different or, you know, does require more skill than just eating, because eating is not a skill, let's be honest, it's not. So as soon as you try to change up a little bit, people are just right there to fucking get at your throat. Like, how dare you try to become something more than just a guy who eats? It's like, Yet you're so supportive, like of somebody eating. Like why, as a people, as a society, are we like bigging people up for eating? Which is cool. It's fun. Like I get it. I like it. There's parts of it that are good. But it's like, it's 
why do we if somebody tries to show you another part of themselves it's like why do you why why are we just tearing that down like it's like there will be other like i'll still like you'll still do buck bangs and stuff like it's like as soon as you try to become anything different or anything better or anything more people are like no no stop you're a loser just just eat like <laughs> so weird i don't get it but for those who don't do that and who are like true down ass riders which are the people that will have made it to this part in the video anyways thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for riding riding constantly always being supportive always being open to showing you other aspects other layers other interests that i have so for those of you who are like that you're the real mvps and i really appreciate you that said i can't finish this i mean i probably could but i just don't i wouldn't enjoy it at this point like i'm full that's like i'm good <laughs> Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true, peace.